All right, guys, what's up? So back with another video today. We're going to talk about unlocking the bootloader on the Axon 7 and installing Twerp. It's a bit of a long process. you got to flash a bunch of zips in order to get to the unlocking process. So um, I've been hearing some people say they can't read my screen. So I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do a screen recording, and I'm going to try to edit it where you can see my phone and my screen recording at the same time. All right, first of all, you're going to want to come to XDA and you're going to want to go to the guy that made twerp here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but thank you. It's an official twerp recovery. And down below, he links what he calls un unlock kit. This you got to download. It's about two gigs. You're gonna, it comes with ADB, it comes with the DLLs, it comes with Fastboot, comes with uh, the Google ADB and Fastboot drivers, basically comes with everything you need. And it comes with a little how-to inside. All right, so let's get this started. I'm gonna get the screen recording going. All right, I'll show you one other thing. We're gonna be on the phone. You're gonna go to the settings, all settings. About phone, build number. You're going to tap that until it says you're ready a developer. You're going to go back, developer options. You're going to check OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Make sure those are all set. And then, oh, also another prerequisite, guys. You're going to need an SD card. All right, so now we're going to plug our phone in. We get the little boop boop. Hi right, guys, actually I just installed ES File Explorer on my Axon. And if you notice, there's no files there. And see the name there? D4DA95A4. It was the one that I suspected. You're gonna wanna go on, if you're gonna do this via ADB, you're gonna wanna go on and look. Type in this command, DF, and you're gonna look for your SD card. See, mine's 128 gig, so it's this one right here. So, all right, we're going to copy that one there. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push the zips to there, like that. All right, so now we're actually pushing the zips to the SD card. Sorry about that mistake before. But this is what you got to do. All right, we're going to let this go, and I'm going to pause it again. All right, guys, all zip files are now on the SD card. What we're going to do is we're going to take another look at the instructions. Um, but we're going to install, navigate, step one, install that. We'll take a while, have some coffee, you know, blah, blah, blah. All All right, so we're going to do basically, all right, so we're good to go. What we want to do is we want to get it into recovery according to this. All right, we got ADB, so we're going to do ADB reboot. Re, uh, let's do, as they say, bootloader. All right, so now we're flash, now we're to the bootloader. We get the start screen, as you can see, my phone is locked. All right, so now we're going to use the volume buttons on the side, recovery mode, hit power. I'm just going to do a little reboot. And there's your reboot menu. I mean, you're, right now we're on... Doesn't really say the version. Anyway, as it said, apply update, apply update from SD card. We're going to click the power button on that. We're going to navigate to where it says step one. Click. And then down below, you can see it going. All right, now we're going to let this go, and again, I'm going to pause this so no, we don't need to wait around. 
All right, guys, so we're back. First zip flash successfully. Now, as the instructions said, we're going to go to the second option, which is reboot bootloader. I'm going to hit that. Remember, always follow directions. Okay, now we got the bootloader. It's still locked. I haven't done anything. Now we're going to go back into recovery mode. If all worked well, we'll get recovery again, hopefully. Good, good. Now, apply update from SD card once again. This time, we're going to do step two. That's flashing much faster than the other one. Oh, actually not. All right, I'm going to give it a pause again. As you can see, it's flashing. I'm going to pause it again. We'll come back. All right, guys, so we're back once again. Step two is done. This is one of the most important steps. Now, we're going to do the same thing like we did before. We're going to reboot to bootloader. Boom. Now, this time, we're still locked. We're going to go back to the computer now. And we're going to issue fast boot OEM on lock, like so. And we're going to hit enter. Now it said OK, and it brought up a nice little screen on lock bootloader. OK, cool. Now press the volume buttons up or down and select yes or no. I'm going to select yes and power. Erasing, erasing data as we figured. All right, guys. So we're back. It reboots as if a new phone, just like the instruction says. I'm gonna go through the. We're gonna, I'm gonna go through the steps. We really don't need a network. Skip. Software update. No. Since we're well wiped, I'm not doing any of this. Skip the Google account. You don't want to do any of this because you're going to be screwing your phone. Any, well, it's not really screwing it up, but no fingerprint. Everything's skipped. Blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. All right, now, yeah, since we got the computer up, again, we're going to go to all settings, about phone. We're going to tap that build number until it says I'm a developer. And we're going to make sure OEM unlocking is on, which it is. USB debugging. We're going to flick that bad boy on. We always hit always allow. Click OK. Now we got USB and that. Oh, I, I like to turn off verify apps of oh, USB, but you don't have to. All right. Now back to the directions. We got that bit bad boy up. Um, our bootloader is unlocked. Uh, he wants us to flash now step three. All right. So we're going to go back here. ADB reboot recovery. She's rebooting. This is a bit of a tedious process, but just remember you got to do it once. All right, once again, we're going to go down to apply update from SD card. Um, step one, we did. Step two, we did. Why am I missing a step three? Let's check those instructions once again. Uh, unlock, blah, blah, blah. Holy crap, your bootloader is on clock, unlocked, unclocked, haha. Um, use power, reset, hold volume down, trick to get back into the road. Navigate to step one, three. Oh, I'm, I'm actually blind. One, 
one three is actually right here. Sorry guys, one three is there. All right, so we're gonna flesh that again. Let me just make sure I'm doing it right. Um, oh, we're gonna set with flesh in the same one again. All right, so flesh that, hit go. Now this is gonna take a while. Again, we're gonna pause. Okay guys, so we're back, that fleshed. We're gonna do the same process again. We're gonna reboot the bootloader again. You can see it says unlock there at the bottom, which is very cool. All right, now we're gonna go recovery mode once again. This time we're gonna flash next in the series, which is gonna be number four. Um, apply from SD card. One, two, three, four. All right, four. All right, here we go. As usual, we're gonna we're gonna pause. No need to really watch this stuff. Okay, guys, so step four is now flashed. We're gonna do the same exact thing like we did before. As you see, this is very repetitive. Re reboot the bootloader. Still unlocked. Back to recovery mode once again. Okay, we're gonna go down to apply update from SD card. This is our final one, thank God, because this is getting a bit long. All right, step five, and we're gonna let that flash. All right, I'm gonna pause this guy while he flashes. All right, guys, so we're all done flashing the last step. It says to erase, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do to play safe, I'm going to reboot the bootloader again. I'm going to deviate a little bit from the directions. It's still unlocked. We're going to go into the new recovery just in case it has changed. I don't like to, I don't like to take any chances. All right. Now we're going to do wipe. Data factory reset. Yes. That's going to go. Again, I'm going to pause. No reason for you to Oh, it's already done, actually. Now, we're simply going to reboot the system. Actually, he says to power it down. All right. So we're fully powered down. Now we're going to turn it back on. Now you're going to let this puppy... Boot up. You're going to see that screen probably every time you boot up. But you're going to let this boot and fully boot up. All right, I'm going to pause. No need to watch this again. All right, guys, so I went through the booting process. We'll back up. Uh, we're going to go to the settings like we did before. All settings. About phone. Going to go down. We're on the October 1 build, which is what we were originally on, which is good. We're going to tap that build number till we're a developer. Go back. Developer options, enable that OEM unlocking, enable ADB, since that's what I like. I'm going to turn off the verify apps. All right. Now we're going to take the phone. This is just the way I like to do it. You guys can use the soft keys, do whatever you want. But I'm going to plug it in. It's going to pop up. I'm always allow. Continue. Now we're going to go back to the computer. We're going to do ADB reboot. Boot, boot loader. Okay, cool. We got the boot loader. Now, I'm going to bring up our browser. We're going to go to twerp me and devices. Type in Axon. And there it is, Axon 7. Here's the guy that made all this possible for us. Great deal. We want the 
twerp image from here. Here it is, twerp 3.0. We're going to download it. All right, downloaded. Back to our computer. I'm going to navigate to download folder, fast boot, flash recovery, twerp. Uh, make sure we got the right one here. 3.0. A, there we go, that's that one. We're gonna flesh that, finished. All right, now I'm gonna go back to where we had that file, that, those bunch of files that we downloaded, and so we can check the directions for what he wrote. Let's follow them. Fast boot OEM unlock. We did that. Holy crap. We flashed all those zips. God, that took a long time. Thank God I never have to do that again. Grab the latest official twerp, what I just did. Install it. Fast boot flash recovery, the recovery file. We did that. Then select the recovery with the volume keys. Okay. I'm going to go from the phone now. Recovery mode selected. And look at that, we got twerp. You're gonna wanna swipe. And then there we go. Now we're in recovery mode. Um, now, this is something that I've always done. I'm not sure 100, to, 100 million to one here. I guess we can root it for the fun of it since we're on camera here. Let's root it. Download the newest Super, S, Super SU. Thanks, Chainfire, for Super SU. Update. All right. Downloaded. We're going to do ADB. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Downloads folder. Whatever there. ADB push. Update Super SU. We're going to push that to the SD card. Pushed. Now we're going to go come over here. We're going to install. Update Super SU. Flash. Cool beans. And that's it guys, you officially have twerp, and you're now rooted. Alright guys, throw, throw that thumbs up, help me out, spread support. Thanks again, see you in the next one.